Hey guys, this is Patrick from Slush Films, and today we're we'll bringing another tutorial on the Java programming language. So, um, this is where we left off before uh, we created our uh, first variable, and today we're gonna be looking at um, a few more data types of the variable uh, of variables in Java, and we're also gonna be looking at uh, further into the system out print ln uh, sentence. So, uh, let's get started by first putting a line break. And we're gonna the first data type um, we're gonna be looking at today is gonna be the float data type, and this is a floating point number with a decimal point. So we're gonna call this decimal since a float is a decimal, and we're gonna create a decimal um, of seventy four point one two five or six seven eight nine, and that's the that's a decimal obviously. And at the end of every float data type, we have to put an F here. Okay, so put an F there to signify it's a float, uh, a float data type, and we're gonna put a semicolon. So as you can see, there's no error, and it's good. So we're gonna print this on the screen, and we're gonna be creative here and put the temperature of today is, and then plus. Uh, the decimal okay so that's good and then the next data type we're gonna be looking at is called the boolean data type and we're gonna type in boolean and we're gonna call it result since this boolean data type is a logical value of either true or false so it can be true or it can be false okay so that's good for results and stuff like that so we're gonna type in true and semicolon there, and then we're going to print it out. And we're going to be more creative here and say the result is, and then result. Okay, so um, if we press the play button here, uh, you can see the temperature of today is 74.12, blah, 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 and the result is true. So that uh, that's uh, the two more data types. And we're going to look at four more. Um, so we're going to look at the byte data type. Um, and let me just note something here. These these five data types are the most important ones and the most used ones you are going to use. Uh, the, the ones that are going to continue on, the four ones, are a little less used and you're probably not going to use them. So the byte data type is an integer number from negative 128 to positive 127. So uh, let's call this. Um, uh, let's call this. Uh, what should we call it? Uh, G, because I'm not creative at all. Um, and we're gonna type in. Uh, one twenty seven. And and that off. Okay, so then we're gonna print it out. That's good. And next, we're gonna be looking at the short data type, and this is integer number from negative thirty two thousand seven hundred sixty eight to positive 32,767. Okay, so we're going to call this num. Okay, and this is equal to 30,000. And we're going to print it out. That's good. Next, we're going to be looking at the long data type. And this is a positive or negative integer exceeding 2.14 billion. So, as I said before, the int is from negative 2.14 billion to positive 2.4 billion. So, if you want a long, um, a long, uh, longer than an integer, uh, then you can use the long 
uh, data type and uh, any positive or negative integer exceeding 2.14 billion. Okay, so you can use this, and we're going to call it a number two equal to. Um, we're going to equal this to yeah. Okay, so that works. We're going to print this out. That's good. The next, the last one we're going to be looking at is the double uh, data type. And this is an extremely long floating point number. So um, let's call this uh, decimal long. And we're going to equal it to uh, 5.11111111122 forever. And yeah. So, and you don't need to put an F here, it's a double, so it's a different data type. I want to print it out decimal long and that's good save it so these are all the data types we have a string a char an int a float boolean byte short long double so let's play this and as you can see all the stuff we we created variables for are here and it's good to go so let's review um, actually, before I review, um, we're gonna taking be taking a look at um, the system dot out dot print ln uh, this. Okay, so um, let's look. A f let's take a further look into this phrase. Um, and you see here, uh, you can you always. Uh, I always told you to put the ln uh, at the end of the print. Um, and in fact, you don't need to do this. Um, let's just put something in here. Uh, call it Patrick is talking. And um, if we don't put the LN there, which stands for line, it's not going to put a line at the end of this bracket, at the bef before the end of this bracket. So it's not going to put a line here. Play this. And as you can see, uh, it didn't put a line right here, so uh, the build successful thing uh, went uh, right after the thing. It didn't put a line break. So let's put the L in here to see the difference. Save it and play. As you can see, it puts a line break uh, after the talking. So um, there, there are many different types of system.out.print types. Uh, two of them is just print, and then another is a line, ln. So those that was just a further look into the variables and also into the system.out.print. Um, let's just review. Um, a string is any number of Unicode characters. A char is a single Unicode character. An int is a an integer from negative 2.14 billion to positive 2.14 billion. A float is um, a floating point number with a decimal point. A boolean is a logical value of either true or false. A byte is an integer number from negative 128 to positive 127. A short is an integer number from negative 32,768 to positive 32,767. A long is a positive or negative integer uh, exceeding 2.14 billion. A double is an extremely long floating point number. And uh, yeah, those are the variables. And uh, reviewing the system.out.print, you could put the LM, which puts a break at the end of the uh, brackets. So that was just a quick tutorial on, the, uh, on more into variable data types and more into the system.out.print phrase. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe. It really helps me out. And uh, also comment below. If you have any questions, please rate this video down below. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll uh, see you guys later. Bye.